happy morning children we are going to see today's physics class electric charges and field electric charges and field so before we are going to see the charges about the charges what do you people are thinking about the charge maybe the children think charging through the mobile phone charges like that means only the through the electricity you may think the charge for example we can explain through the examples see you may come across a lot of functions parties they may used balloons the inflated balloons with the help of adhesive tapes you stick on the wall but we can wrap it through any surfaces on maybe your dress or maybe on the head like that if you rub to the surface of the balloon if you stick on the wall it will be stuck due to the rubbing because of you are rubbing that object over another object the static charge the static charges are activated that also we can say it is also one of the charge so we can check say that what is charge charge which is nothing but it is a elementary particle of matter elementary particle of matter you know that very well the matter which means all the objects right this which is nothing but charge that elementary particle of matter which it has some force between the objects the force between the objects which is called the charge is it understand right the next one is the kinds of charges what are the kinds that we all know about that is positive charge and negative charge so positive and negative charge through that we have the property we know that very well that from the class 6 we will study that is nothing but like charges repel the same type of charges like the positive positive means it will repel negative negative means it will repel or the positive negative that means it will attract it will attract each other this is one of the basic property of the charge the next point of example i want to tell you is a basic things of the examples It, it has given in our ncert book also this glass rod if you have taken a glass rod rubbed with the silk that means some of the objects we have taken and we are using it how the charges is the glass rod with silk is acquires positive charge same like plastic rod with fur it will give negative charge okay so like there are a lot of examples which is there if you have taken a glass rod with a piece of silk in the silk if you rubbed over over another object it will produce positive charge same like a pl plastic or ebonite any other insulator if you have taken and rubbed with the fire it will i mean um, it acquires negative charge understand and one more important point i want to share that which is mass mass of the body affected on charge 
mass of the body can affect the charge? Is it? Yes. If it gains the charge, the particle which is an object is gains the charge, it means the mass will increase. Same like if you lose us, it loses the electron, it will decrease the mass. So mass definitely can affect the charging body. It's one of the important points you must know. So the next one is you must know conduction, conductors, insulators, the body in which way and all getting charged. Charge means what we say, the different kinds of charge we see and how and all we can charging we must do. So through the three that means by rubbing, by rubbing or we can say friction, by making frictional, through that we can charge. The other point is conducting. The next one is inducting. What is that one? Inducting. Through the induction. So conducting we know that. Rubbing which means over another object we are rub. Or we are making the frictional. The second one is conduction. Conduction we know that very well. The object or the substance which with touching it over another body touch. So it is called conduction. Induction which means without touching. Without touching. How? Without touching it will? Yes. It is inducing the objects, the charged objects when you kept near another charged object. It is inducing the charge by inducing it, the charge will induct by the object. The next one is the properties. The basic properties of charge. Basic properties. What are the basic properties? Just three properties. One is additivity. Quantization and conservation. The first one is additive in nature. What is additivity? Which is nothing but the total charge of a system is equal to the individual sum of the charges. That is up to the n number of charges which may be in the system. All the charges which is sum of the charge. Right? The total charge of a system is equal to the sum of individual charges. Right? The second one is quantization. So quantization which means the charge of a body which is the integral sum integral sum of that means the n number of <coughs> E, electron, the quantum charge, quantum charge which means the single. So this is called Q is equal to NE. The next one is conservation. Conservation of mass, conservative charge, we know that very well. The conservation which means the point number one which is the total charge of an isolated system remains constant or the charge neither be created nor be destroyed. Recapture, you can take down the notes in your classwork. Electrostatics, the study of electric charges at rest. Charge, the elementary particle of matter which gives electric force between the objects. The SA unit Hulu, it's a scalar. Kinds of charges, next we see the kinds of charges. There is positive charge and the negative charge. Like charges repel. Unlike charges attract. So examples we have seen that is like glass rod rubbed with the silk appears positive charge. The plastic or ebonite rod that means the insulators which is rubbed with the fur appears negative charge. The next one is mass of the body affected on charging. Yes, it will be increase the mass when it gains the electron. 
to be decreasing the mass when it lose the electron lost the electron the conductors insulators which we see the subjects through which electric charges can flow easily are called conductors the substance that which electric charges cannot flow through the small insulators earthening and safety a body shares its electric charge with the earth the small grounding or earthing electrostatic induction we see through the examples charging by induction a body can charge okay a body can charged by friction conduction or by induction so the basic property what we see additivity quantization conservation so all these things make a note children so because of the 21 word they are going to ask so that you must note down all each and every important points as a note coulomb's law so q1 q2 that means the two stationary point charges are separated between the distance of r same like a gravitational force we know that we studied about in 11 standard same like that the force of attraction or repulsion between two stationary points or directly proportional to the product of magnitudes of the charges two charges or the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them that means f is that will go to q1 q2 f is inversely proportional to 1 by r square which we can say f is that will be proportional to q1 q2 by R squared R F is equal to K Q one Q two by R squared. So here K, which is nothing but proportionality constant of electrostatic force, or K, the value of K, which is one by four pi epsilon naught, the value nine into ten power nine newton meter square per coulomb square. The epsilon, oh sorry, uh, yes, epsilon naught, which is permittivity constant for the free space. Thank you, children.